Let's bring in Strategus Chairman and CEO, my friend, Jason Trenner. Jason, terrific to see you. Kamala Harris is the incumbent. She is not the insurgent. And in the last three and a half years, she dramatically helped raise taxes on every working man and woman in this country because of inflation and much higher prices and created an affordability crisis for anybody who wanted to buy a home. But how do you see the overall plan that she's laid out? It's, in your words, central planning. It's social planning, and I, I can't see how this is, this is more liberal, this is more progressive than the Biden-Harris administration, what you've seen so far. And I, none of the things that uh, Mr. Walsh was just talking about would bring down the most hidden and insidious tax, which is inflation. It, it would increase inflation because we'd be spending more money. We are running budget deficits right now that are about 7 percent of GDP. We've never done that when we haven't been in war. Uh, or when the unemployed or in recession we're doing we're spending money like it's going out of style there's no coordination between the fed uh, and fiscal policy and inflation will get worse given these policies that she's talking about i i, I really i it, it is beyond me you can say the words but it doesn't make it true uh, you pointed out recently that Harris and Biden have started handing out money through this COVID era program, the Employee Retention Tax Credit, where there, it was 95 percent of the claims for it were fraudulent. But they've actually started handing out billions of dollars in this program to try and juice the economy and literally buy votes before November, Jason. Listen, Dagan, all presidents uh, in the fourth year incumbents try to grease the skids for their own reelection. Biden and Harris have taken this to an art form that I have never seen before. The employee retention tax credit, we're talking about COVID relief, and COVID ended about three years ago. Five billion will be sent out in early September, another 20 billion, so 25 billion total by the end of the year. Add that to 170 billion in student loan forgiveness, if you could call it that. Mm -hmm. Add to that uh, a strategic petroleum reserve that is at its lowest level uh, since 1983. Uh, and then add uh, to that as well the budget deficits that we've been talking about before. This is all adding up to essentially, as you said, trying to buy people's votes. But it, 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 will, it may lead to some, some temporary relief, but it will lead to long-term pain, and it will not relieve people of, as I said, the most insidious tax of all, which is inflation, which hurts the poor and working classes more than it does wealthy people. This is a very regressive economic policy that you're seeing from uh, from Harris and Biden. Right. And that's why personally it pisses me off so much that they can't acknowledge even one ounce of the pain that they've caused for so many working Americans. So we found out this week that we're going to hit thirty six trillion dollars in debt for the nation by the end of this year. And, but Elizabeth Warren says she's in favor of Kamala Harris's economic policies because the bill has been settled. How has the bill been settled? I feel really good about what she's put out. So start with price gouging. You know, we have a problem that prices are just too high for families. Wait. What space is left for a potential Harris administration to spend billions or trillions more on, 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 on the kind of policies that she's promoting? Ooh, now, with, those, without, without compounding inflationary pressure. How, how things, does she do that responsibly? All those things you talked about, I just want to remind everybody, were paid for. The last big expense that wasn't paid for was the Donald Trump tax cuts. Jason, your response to that one. Yeah, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. I, if it's paid for, why does the budget debt, why does the, the amount of debt continue to increase? Why does, why are we running budget deficits of $2 trillion a year? Um, not only that, we are, we are funding um, our debt short term as opposed to longer term, which means that interest expenses right now exceed our defense budget. By next year, our interest expenses will exceed our Medicare expenditures. So paid for, I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, if it was paid for, we wouldn't, be, we, we wouldn't be accruing all of these new debts every year, day in and day out. It, it's, it's mystifying. Again, it's, it's, frankly, it's just a lie. Yes, it is a lie. But I do love, Jason, before we go, how Elizabeth Warren was giving 
huzzas to the price control plan, which the uh, Kamala Harris team denies as price controls, because Elizabeth Warren and Kamala Harris in 2020 proposed a price control plan. And it is very much that, and it's not just for groceries. It's for a range of industries across the United States where the Federal Trade Commission would decide what is excessive pricing. And it is so deeply dangerous, but the fact that she likes what Kamala Harris is doing is an admission that it's price controls, and I am just eating it up because they give themselves away. Jason Trenner, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much for being here always, Jason. Thanks for, Sean, back thanks to for you. having me, Dagan.